Hi friends, I'm Fan. I'm an art lover. Welcome to my very first vlog. It's been one year since I quit my full-time job as a translator for a professional firm. During more than 10 years working for many companies as a full-time employee, I hardly felt happy at work. But the previous job is quite special because I've worked there for about five years and a half, which is the longest time so far. Apart from the sadness of being stuck on a job that I do not feel happy with, the reason I decided to quit is because I've struggled with job burnout for quite a long time. My burnout was the most severe during one year before quitting. I couldn't concentrate on doing anything, even after work. I felt exhausted and sleepy all the time. I even fell asleep at work. I didn't want to meet anyone, didn't want to travel, even though traveling is my passion. I often thought about negative things. I hated myself, hated the world. I knew that I needed to change, but I didn't have the courage to do so until one year ago. Yeah, I quit my job. After quitting my job, I gained my energy back after a few weeks by relaxing and traveling. And after that, I faced another problem. What should I do next? I never want to waste my time. So while searching for what I can do next to make a living, I started to learn Chinese intensively. I have started learning Chinese since 2020 because I like Chinese culture and I love traveling to China, but I didn't spend enough time for it. Therefore, I took the chance to learn it properly and plan to get a Chinese certificate. I think in case I couldn't find a career which is truly suitable for me, I can use Chinese and my work experience in the past to find another corporate job. So, I encourage myself to practice one of the most difficult languages in the world as a backup plan. However, returning to the office isn't my top priority. So, I have shot a lot on the internet with the hope that I can find something which I can learn to do it well and it can help me in the future. As an introvert, I googled lots of questions like best jobs for introverts, jobs for introverts with anxiety, which career is best for introverts. In the process of searching, I've read an article which totally changed my mind. That article says that when you get lost in life and don't know what to do, you should remember what you wanted to be when you was a kid. That message lit up my darkness. I remember that when I was a kid, I wanted to become a painter. My passion was drawing. I could draw every day. I even draw portraits of my friends and my teachers. And then I started to practice drawing again. It is hard at first because I haven't drawn anything for years. It took me about seven months to learn how I should start drawing, what I can draw, which drawing tools suit me the best, how I can find my own style, and a lot more. I started with pencil sketching and opened my art account on Instagram last September. After posting some, I found my pencil drawings quite boring and they're not attractive enough to catch people's attention. Then I kept drawing with pencils but stopped posting on Instagram. Until the end of the year, I started drawing on my iPad and started posting my digital illustrations. It's been over three months since I first created digital illustrations. Now, if you ask me whether I am happy or not after quitting the full-time job, I'll say I'm happy when I'm drawing. I really enjoy the process of sketching, generating ideas, looking for references, picking up the color palettes, and drawing. When I see my illustrations are improving little by little, I feel more motivated. However, I cannot be happy all the time. My savings can allow me to live a basic life for a few years only. So I do feel worried about my future. I want to become a digital illustrator so much, but I'm not sure if I can do that or not. There are so many questions that appear in my mind, such as, is my art good enough? Am I talented enough to become an artist? If I must find another full-time job, am I too old for that? But thanks to some supportive friends I got to know through Instagram, I know that what I should do now is to be patient. I'm just a newbie, a digital drawing, and there are lots of things I must learn to grow in this field. I keep learning and practicing my art skills every day, 
and I'll keep doing that until it is impossible. If you are still watching until this point, thank you so much for listening to the vulnerable feelings of a beginner at digital drawing. I'd love to hear your stories as well.